capacitors on the electronic boards of air conditioners and refrigerators are components that store and release electrical energy for various purposes such as voltage stabilization, signal filtering, and elimination of electrical noise. How do capacitors work on electronic boards? On electronic boards, capacitors primarily perform two functions. 1. Signal filtering. They eliminate noise and fluctuations in the electrical current, ensuring a stable and clean supply to sensitive components. 2. Energy storage. They provide instantaneous energy to smooth transitions and prevent voltage drops. The capacitance of capacitors on electronic boards varies depending on their function. 1. Filter capacitors generally have capacitances between 1 and 100 microfarads. 2. Coupling and decoupling capacitors can have capacitances ranging from picofarads to a few microfarads depending on the operating frequency and filtering needs. Types of capacitors on electronic boards 1. Ceramic capacitors have low capacitance, generally from picofarads to nonofarads, and are used for high-frequency filtering and decoupling. 2. Electrolytic capacitors have high capacitance from 1 microfarad to hundreds of microfarads, and are used for low-frequency filtering and energy storage. 3. Tantalum capacitors are stable and have a low equivalent series resistance, used in filtering and decoupling applications where greater stability is required. Diagnosing capacitors on electronic boards. To diagnose a capacitor, follow these steps. 1. Disconnect the power supply and ensure the device is off. 2. Set the multimeter to DC voltage mode. 3. Place the multimeter probes on the capacitor terminals. If the multimeter shows voltage, proceed with the discharge. 4. You can use a high power resistor connected to an insulated screwdriver. Connect the resistor to the capacitor terminals to allow the charge to dissipate slowly. 5. To discharge capacitors on air conditioning electronic boards, it is recommended to use resistors in the range of 1 kilohm to 10 kilohms. For example, a 1 kilohm resistor provides a quick discharge but may cause a higher current flow. A 10 kilohm resistor provides a slower, more controlled discharge minimizing the risk of sparks or damage to the capacitor. For most capacitors on air conditioning electronic boards, a 5 watt resistor is suitable and provides good energy dissipation capacity without overheating quickly. 6. Check with a multimeter that the voltage on the capacitor terminals is zero before handling it. 7. Now proceed to measure the capacitor with a multimeter by following these steps. A. Set the multimeter to resistance mode. B. With the electronic board unpowered, measure the resistance between the capacitor terminals. A good capacitor initially shows low resistance, which gradually increases to infinity. A faulty capacitor shows zero resistance, short circuit, or infinite resistance, open circuit. 8. If you have a capacitance meter, set it to the appropriate range. A. Connect the capacitance meter probes to the capacitor terminals. B. Read the capacitance on the display and compare it to the nominal value indicated on the capacitor. C. If the reading is significantly different, the capacitor may be defective. 